Welcome. Today, I want to talk to you about matrix reports. I'm going to show you how to build one, but the first thing to understand is what it is and why you might care. A matrix report in Salesforce has groupings on the rows and the columns of records, and it allows you to see summarized data from two different perspectives at the same time. Now, there are some downsides of this. The main one being is that it can be confusing. When you've got a bunch of information and you can look at it from these two different angles, it can be a bit tricky to orient yourself and really make sense of what you're looking at. The upside is you can take a look at a grouping of data and then see it across a time series, you know, or you can take a look at the same data from two different parameters. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create this report, which is looking at opportunity records and grouping them by accounts on the left-hand side and the close date across the top. This lets us see not just which customers have spent the most money with us, but what their purchasing behavior looks like. Are they purchasing consistently year after year? Are they coming back every couple years, etc.? To get started, click the Reports tab and then click New Report. You can create a matrix report with any sort of report type. It doesn't really matter. Today, I'm going to select a simple opportunities report as an example. First thing that I do with most reports is come over to Filters and make sure these filters are applied in the way that I want. There's usually a default filter in there. You don't want to be excluding records without you realizing. I'm going to pull in all of my opportunities, but you certainly don't need to do that if you just want to look at closed one or your pipeline, something along those lines. And then we've got group rows here in the upper left-hand corner. So I'm going to group the rows by account name, and that then gives me the option to group columns. And so it's having a group on both rows and columns that makes this a matrix report. So under columns here, I'll choose close date. And now we can see at the top, we've got this matrix. And then at the bottom, we have all the details of the records that are contained in the matrix. Just to make things a little bit clearer, I'm gonna hide the detail rows for now. And then at the top here, we can start to work with this data. One thing that's not great is that the columns are all grouped by the actual close date day. And that's way too much detail. I'd rather take a look at this by year instead of just day. So you can click on the drop down arrow at the top and select calendar year, and it'll you know compress all the days into each individual year. The other thing that we're seeing here is just a record count. And that's not all that helpful. I don't wanna just see how many opportunities somebody had within a current year. I wanna see what the total amount was. So in order to add another summarization, another aggregated field here, we need to come back to detail rows. I'll toggle that on. Summarize functionality by clicking the drop down arrow next to the column you're interested in and choosing sum or average or max, whatever you're interested in. In my case, I'll choose sum. And because we're now aggregating this column as well, you'll see it show up right here. I'm going to turn off those detail rows again and let's add a chart to this. Now our matrix report is actually looking pretty good. We're getting some interesting data here. We can see all of our customers on the left-hand side, and we can see the year that they purchased or the year that they had an opportunity, how many records that was, and you know what the total amount of those opportunities were. And then we can also see our subtotals. Um, horizontally, we're seeing the total amount for that account. And then if we look vertically, we can see the total amount for that given year. And then the lower right-hand corner, we have uh, the grand total. So all of the opportunities being added up here. Now, normally you wouldn't run this report on all opportunities open or closed. You really choose one or the other uh, most of the time. So closed is would be most common if you wanna see what they actually purchased year over year. But I have limited data in this org, so we'll just include them all. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, which is completely optional, is to add some conditional formatting by clicking conditional formatting in the lower right-hand corner. With matrix reports, as I said before, they can be a bit confusing because there's a lot of information there. It's hard to make sense of it. So a little bit of uh, conditional formatting can go a long way. All right. So I'm going to take the sum of amount and we'll say if that sum is greater than zero, we want that box to turn green. If it's less than zero or equal to zero, we'll just leave it blank. And there we can see that that number is now turning green, drawing your attention to that particular box. If we turn off the row count here on the left-hand side, then we just have that one number that gets highlighted. Click Save and Run, and now you can see the matrix report here. We've got our accounts on the left. We can see how much money was brought in from each of those accounts over each year, 
And we can also clearly differentiate where we have data and where we don't have any data for that account or for that year. If you do want to dig into the details, you can click into any one of these cells and those detail rows are going to come right back. So if I click on this 205,000 here, it's going to show me the opportunities that are contributing to that number. And here we've got one opportunity for generators that's in the qualification stage. You can turn off those detail rows again just by coming down to the bottom and toggling them off here. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one.